Hey guys, welcome back. It's Missy and today we're going to be talking about the importance of anger and healing. If you are new here, my name is Missy. I'm a life and relationship coach and on this channel we get to the root of the issues and we learn how to heal and do. So if that's your thing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to be a part of the fam. So when we think of anger, we may see it as a type of violence or we see it as a negative thing we're not supposed to express or we see it as abusive or we may feel ashamed about it and we immediately feel disgust for the thought of anger like ugh, that is a bad emotion i am not supposed to express or feel and anger in itself is not a bad thing at all it all comes down to how you were taught how to feel about anger and that comes down to how your parents or teachers or uncles and aunts or family members or even peers how they showed anger and if they were very scary or it was you had a lot of neg negative experiences you will not want to have that emotion of anger or it comes down to how your teachers your parents your peers your caregivers how they responded to your anger so if they responded with things like oh my god i can't believe you're behaving like this oh my god you're such a monster or how dare you be angry or show that anger or you were abandoned and ignored then you will immediately feel that it's dangerous or you will feel ashamed and like you're not supposed to have or express that emotion and we also have to take note of when you are a child especially before the ages of eight you don't have a ton of empathy or you are not really able to put yourself outside of your shoes and see other people's perspectives. When you're angry, you just know you feel this emotion and you need to get it out. You need to be heard. You need someone to help you. And because you don't have a ton of emotional control, you don't really know what's going on, you most likely won't respond in the healthiest, healthiest of ways. You will get violent, you may hit, you may scream, and you will get immediately scolded when instead you needed to be shown how to healthily express that anger and you weren't shown that it's an okay emotion to have. You were immediately made to feel it is bad and wrong and then you suppress it. And that is actually unhealthy to not allow ourselves to have anger. So then you learn your internal discomforts and sensations are not okay and over time it will cause you to shut down. We do what we feel we, like we need to do in order to survive even if it's unnatural. We do this to make sure we maintain our relationships with our caregivers. We need our caregivers to survive. We are these helpless children. And so if that means shutting off parts of ourselves, we will do so. And that is actually really unhealthy because as we always talk about, our emotions are here to tell us something. Every emotion has a purpose, including anger. And I talk more about emotions in my 11 weeks of break free from the past, which I definitely recommend you check it out. But specifically anger, anger tells us two things. It tells us when we feel we're being mistreated, a boundary has been crossed. We feel like something unjust has happened or for protection when we feel threatened or it is there as a secondary emotion where our main emotion is being suppressed or we're not aware of the emotion that we're actually feeling like sadness or hurt. So it's here to tell us like, hey, my boundary was just being crossed or I feel threatened right now. Or it's here to say, hey, I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling frustrated or I'm in pain or I'm feeling ashamed and I'm not dealing with this emotion. So it's gonna come out in anger because it's much easier to feel anger than it is to feel that pain. And as we always talk about, if you try to suppress something, it will always come out in other ways. It will come out in depression, it will come out in anxiety, it will come out in anger. It can't stay down there. We as humans, we, we can't, negativity causes negative things, which we'll go further into in a minute, but we, it, it always needs to come out and it's always going to come out. So anger is what alerts us and lets us know that we need to say no, that we need to set a boundary. It helps us to recognize mistreatment or it shows us when we don't like something or someone. Or it helps us see when something or someone is wronging us. When we are not able to feel and express the emotion of anger, then we are not able to distinguish when we are being mistreated, when a boundary has been crossed, when we feel taken advantage of. We don't place responsibility on the parties that are doing these things. And then we are not able to properly take care of those situations and give ourselves what we need. We instead will internalize it and blame ourselves or we'll make excuses for others or we'll be overly critical towards ourselves and 
overly correct ourselves or try to find ways to make it better through our behaviors. And then we never hold anyone else accountable. So we overly try to take responsibility and try to control things out of our control. If anger ever does come up, you may try to reframe it like, no, I need to do better, or I can't feel this, it's bad. We don't wanna go down that route. And then we squash that fire. And when we squash an internal fire inside of us, it becomes depression because depression is suppression. And it also suppresses our immune system. Our mind and our body are one in the same. You can get illnesses from suppressing your anger or your trauma or things that need to be dealt with because that negative energy as we all are energy turns into illness and sickness inside of our body. Those emotions are meant to be expressed and meant to come out of us. And they are meant to tell us, hey, something's wrong and we need to do something about it. If we're not listening to our internal needs, then it's just going to make us sick. They need to be expressed to have a healthy functioning body. So now that we understand all of that, anger is not the issue at all. Really the issue is not knowing what to do with anger and how, and not knowing how to healthily express anger. And like we said, when we were children, we didn't, express anger in the healthiest ways. So then when you're a child and you never really felt like you could express that anger, you most likely did get bullied or pushed over by your own parents, by people around you, and then it can cause you to feel really bad. So the reason why anger and having anger moving forward is so important in your healing is because it helps you to recognize what has happened to you how you were wronged, how your boundaries were crossed, how you were mistreated, and you're finally placing blame where it's due. Now, the thing is that you're not always going to feel anger in your healing journey. So don't think like you're doing it wrong or you're bad if you don't feel anger. Sometimes things have gone, have, you've been away from it so, for so long that it's hard to recreate that anger. You don't have to feel anger, but it can be helpful and important in certain people's journeys because anger was so suppressed that they need to be able to be okay and have that emotion of anger in order to realize, oh, you know, I've been put placing too much blame on myself and not enough on people that have hurt me. So, I, so how do you express anger as an adult? Well, first, if you're so disconnected, you may need to do behavioral actions to help you learn what it's like to feel anger. So that means stomping your feet. That means screaming. That means punching pillows. Recreating of what it will feel like to feel anger. It may surprise you, but you will immediately maybe start to get very angry and, and, and you'll feel that emotion. You'll feel that adrenaline. You'll feel that aggression come out of you. It's something that you've never experienced before. And it may, you may even start to cry or you'll, you'll be flooded with different thoughts and memories and things that have happened because sometimes they're so suppressed that you need some type of action, bodily action, for it to recreate memories and, and, and those emotions. So there's that and also being able to recognize the sensation of emotion. So once you get in touch with that emotion of anger, being like, okay, I notice I'm feeling angry. What is this emotion telling me? I notice that someone keeps crossing my boundaries. I need to set a healthy boundary. I notice I haven't really been saying no enough. I need to say no. I notice that I'm allowing this certain behavior. I notice that I'm allowing myself to get taken advantage of. I notice that I'm I'm getting angry at the people around me. I'm, I've become very resentful because they're jerks and you know they suck or whatever it is being able to be in touch and then and then attending to that need cutting people off expressing yourself hey i really don't like this and i want you to to do this in the future anger doesn't mean you have to go out of control it's so important for you to know how to healthily express that anger so know that you can express anger without getting out of control like you were when, when you were a little kid so when you feel the emotion of anger you name you may need to take some time to distinguish what it is that you need. Now, when it comes to in the past, dealing with you know that anger of the past, allow yourself to be angry at your parents, your teachers, your bullies, whoever. Just be mad at them. They were jerks, they were dicks, they hurt you. And it's okay for you to place responsibility. It doesn't matter what they've been through in the past or understanding why they are the way they are. Who cares? It doesn't matter explaining their behavior. 
you are allowed to feel mad for what has happened to you someone did something to you they took something from you and you are absolutely allowed to feel that emotion and place that responsibility on them they need to be held accountable inside yourself they may not be able to be held accountable in the real world but within you you need to be able to hold them accountable so you don't allow that type of behavior in the future and don't be afraid of anger you know maybe being afraid of getting out of control you have self-preservation and not only that you can go and watch my self-soothing videos of learning how to soothe yourself after you feel that anger express that anger physically emotionally stabbing a notebook writing out all your feelings ripping up and burning it and then you know meditating or soothing or just making yourself feeling overall calm that's how you you're able to go through the cycle of your emotions and feeling them so what do you guys think leave it on the comments below and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with someone that you think may need it. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye, guys, and don't forget to be mad. Girl, what you doing? Are you okay? You're standing still like a statue. You good? Okay, I love you. Imagine I wasn't recording the whole time. I'd be so mad. I have to go stomp my feet somewhere.